Parliament this morning debated a report on the work of the Ombudswoman for Disabled Persons. Anka Slonshak told MPs that disabled people still face big problems regarding social protection, access to public buildings, employment, health services and education opportunities. Invalids also have difficulties in obtaining financial support for covering living costs and adapting homes. A vote of confidence was scheduled today for newly appointed Health Minister Sinisha Varga and the new Minister of Science, Education and Sports, Vetran Mornar. They were last week chosen by Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic to replace former Ministers Rajko Ostojic and Jelko Jovanovic. The new ministers are taking part in today's cabinet session, where the government's final proposal for the law on civil partnerships is on the agenda. In a radio interview this morning, Administration Minister Arsen Bauk said that civil partnerships would become possible for same-sex couples, but that the partnership could not be called marriage. The law would not allow same-sex partners to adopt children due to certain opposition in Croatian society, he said. The International Court of Arbitration in The Hague, which will decide on the maritime border between Croatia and Slovenia, published a summary last night of the standpoints presented by the two countries. Both are upholding their previous arguments over access to the open sea. Croatia's legal representative, Andrea Metelko Zgombic, told Croatian TV that Slovenia already enjoyed access through Croatian territorial waters, guaranteed by international law. Slovenia, however, is claiming an area of sea that would give it direct access. At the Museum of Contemporary Art in Zagreb last night, painter Dinko Domacinovic and designer Ivana Popovic staged a fashion show as part of the retrospective exhibition on the work of performance artist Vlasta Delimar. Domacinovic painted a 20 meters length of cloth, which designer Popovic then sewed into garments. The bodies of the models were daubed on the way. The performance focused on deconstruction and construction, taking up the idea of the phoenix rising from the ashes in a new form. In World Cup football, the Croatian national team has arrived in the Amazonian city of Manaus, where they tonight face Cameroon at midnight Central European time in the second round of Group A action. The team has been training to adapt to the hot and extremely humid climate. Tonight, striker Mario Mandzukic returns from suspension, while Luka Modric is fit despite picking up a foot injury, and midfielder Daniel Pranic will also join the squad. Last night, host nation Brazil played Mexico to a nil-nil draw. The weather this afternoon. Cloudy, with rain in parts of the interior and especially Dalmatia. Winds on the Adriatic, a moderate to strong Bura in the north, in easterly turning to southwesterly in the south. Temperatures 18 to 24 degrees Celsius, up to 27 on the coast. The forecast for the next three days, warmer with light rainfall in places on Thursday, heavier showers possible on Friday and dry on Saturday. On the coast, light rain showers on Thursday, especially in Dalmatia, showers in the north on Friday, sunny on Saturday.